Hey guys, I'm back second time today. Listen, I just wanted to give a quick testimony and I know that this is a season that this stuff is happening, okay? Um, let me just introduce myself first, that would be nice. I'm Naja. Nice to, even though I'm not meeting you, but nice to meet you. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, please like this video, please share this video. I'm sure you're gonna love it here, all right? Glad I got that out the way. So um, I have a testimony to give you guys. And I know that because one of the other videos that I did where I talked about um, the Lord showing me the door that was wide open and it had the address of 1212, the Lord has been speaking heavily in regards to 1212. And in that time um, or in that video, just to recap, 1212, the Lord revealed to me meant um Give it to me, Lord. It meant uh, evident. It meant clear, okay? It's going to be clear and evident that the door is open. The door of opportunity, the land is here. It's time, okay? And so after that, uh, there was a situation that occurred with me. First, I just want to say that what the Lord is doing, there may have been something that you tried to do, something that you wanted to do, something that you needed, something that you were praying about and asking God for, and you were denied that, okay? The Lord is giving you the opportunity for that to come to you again. It is yours. If you've been living in obedience, okay, what you were denied for in the past is now yours. What you thought you were not going to receive, you're going to receive, okay? I'm sharing this, although it's my testimony, I know that there is just in general because of my ministry and the way my ministry works, whenever there's something that happens with me, there's always people that are attached to my ministry who has the same situation. So, hey, why not? I'm going to go ahead and share it with you. So I just so happen to be, so basically with my taxes and every year at about November 1st, every year, they offer where you can get in advance on your taxes. And I love to use that opportunity because sometimes it might just be a time where I need extra cash right before the holidays. They know what they're doing right before the holidays. Or, you know, you might want to use it towards business. Whatever the point is, okay, is your money because you have to pay back into it when your taxes come. So it's like a, a you know, loan or an advance. And... Um, I get it every year. So this year, you know, they've switched up their little um, expectations or their, um, what do you call it? Their policies on how to get it. And so I'm like, okay, because normally I could just literally just go in there and my tax girl, she would just do what she does with my information as an entrepreneur and be done, right? This year, she's not there. And so I had to go to somebody new. I was in my spirit, not feeling right about it in the beginning. So I go up in there and they want your bank statements. They want all this information. I'm like, they didn't do that last year. So I was not prepared at all. And so she puts whatever in, you know, we guesstimate whatever and deny. I was so upset because I'm like, I denied what? Like, Lord, what is what is this? Right? So I said, okay, cool. Dismissed it, didn't pay it any attention, left it right where it was. I was upset about it because I wanted to get some stuff that I needed to go into my photography. So I, I just want to say for any of you that live in Atlanta or close to Atlanta, I am back in doing photography now. Please look me up. You, um, I do, if you live in Atlanta, then nine times out of 10, you might be somebody that's interested in the film and television arena because we are big here with film and television. I am starting out by going back into um, doing headshots, all right? But I love lifestyle shots as well. So just had to throw that in there. So if you're in Atlanta, look me up. So anyway, um, so I go on about my business. I'm like, okay, Lord, whatever. But Literally, maybe, what is this? Maybe two weeks go by, two or three weeks go by. And 
I'm still getting the advertisement for this loan in my email. I'm like, Lord, I know you're not telling me to go back in there. They already denied me. But this last time I got the advertisement in my email, I said, you know what? What is it going to hurt, right? I said, let me find another location. So I find another location, set up an appointment, and I said, okay, I'm going to be prepared. This time I want to take whatever it is that they need. I go to this location. It's this really, really sweet uh, Caucasian woman. And right from the start, She's like, oh, you don't have your bank statements? Oh, they changed it up. So you might want to get, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I, I can look it up. How about that? I'll look it up. She's like, okay. So she writes down all the details that she needs to enter into the computer, right? And then um, she puts everything in. Well, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Let me back up. Before she puts the stuff in, she wrote down everything first. And then she goes to the computer and she puts in my name, finds my account. And she's like, but you were denied. I was like, oh, well, I didn't have my information that I needed. And the young lady, she was new and I felt like she just didn't know what she was doing. So, you know, she said, okay, well, we can try it. I don't know if they're going to let you do it again since it was denied. So I said, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and try. So she went ahead on and tried and um, she put everything in and lo and behold, I got the approval, okay? So even though the odds were stacked against me, when most people would have never gone back after being denied, even after she's saying, hey, you were already denied, I don't think we can do this again, doing it again and being approved, you guys have no idea. I was praising the Lord like crazy. Like, whoo, thank you, Jesus. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is the one who told me and has been giving me visions of going back into photography. So I said, okay, Lord, I'm ready and willing to go back into this. If this is what you've called me to do, I'm ready and willing to do it. And so he made a way for me to get the little bit of equipment that I needed to, to do what I wanted to do. And so listen, guys, the Lord always looks out for us. The Lord is always present. He is always faithful. He is so faithful and he is not called for any of us to perish at all. He knows what we need. If the birds can eat every day, He's going to take care of what we need, especially if it's his, if a purpose that he's called for us to do, if it is, a, if it's his will to do something, he's going to make a way for it to happen. He's going to make a way out of no way for it to happen. Okay. So that was my quick testimony I wanted to share with you guys. And I had to share that with you guys because I personally feel that there are many of you who have given up on believing something, but just know that whatever it is that may have been something that you were denied for before, the Lord is going to circle you back around and it was yours in the first place, okay? It's just about timing. It's just about you being in faith and believing that it's yours, all right? Love y'all, bye.